So this exhibition is titled Wagstaff, and Wagstaff is part of Moston's History Series. And the History Series is a sequence of exhibitions that began in 2013. And what really defines the exhibitions that are part of the series is that each show mixes together historical artifacts, documents and images with works by contemporary artists. And I was very keen to bring in a sort of historical um, museum environment into the context of a contemporary art institution and how the past can dialogue with the, the present and vice versa. And the history series has moved through time, starting with the first exhibition in 2013 titled Women's Art Society that looked at the inauguration of the building as a place for females to exhibit their work. So Wagstaff takes it at the starting point of previous use of the building as a piano dealership, and it is in many ways an art and music exhibition, of which a number have been presented over the course of exhibition history. I was extremely aware of that, and I was deliberately selected artists that have been in previous shows about the subject. And in that way, I wanted to suggest music's um, most celebrated facets, the idea of uh, the culture of bootlegging and the cover version. For example, there's a work by John Baldessari, which is a reference to uh, a kind of manifesto or a guide for art making sentences on conceptual art by Sol LeWitt. Another work in the show by a Mexican artist called Mario Garcia Torres is a sort of version of John Baldessari's work, which is a version in itself of a work by Sol LeWitt and displays them across two categories to kind of suggest that the categories are here in place to kind of function as a framework through which to kind of see the exhibition and perceive the works and understand them. There's a work right here behind me by an artist called Dave Muller, whose practice has really been dedicated to exploring uh, the idea of the crossover between art and music. And it's from a series of works in which he's painting the spines of record covers. And the particular work in the exhibition um, is a sort of portrait on an ode a to uh, musicians who had died the year previous to when the work was made. And the exhibition also presents new commissions. There's one piece by Italian artist Santo Toloni, which kind of continues his investigation in the issue of scale. And really he kind of investigated and looked into the history of Wagstaffs and decided to make a, a, a piano, a sort of toy scaled piano. Um, and the, the piece itself is titled For Almost a Century, which is taken from an advert from Wagstaff's itself. Another piece is by Charles Gorsham, which is in a way is a new commission, and it can introduce a kind of sense of, of strong like, interactivity in the exhibition. And it's a relational piece in which the visitors can come and use it and, and play with it. In terms of the history research, I think this is probably the most difficult exhibition we've, we've looked at. We knew that Wagstaff's was a very popular music shop in the town. We knew that it was located in the gallery building and we knew that it operated from the 1940s to the 1970s. The business was started by Albert Wagstaff in Manchester in the 1800s. And we found out that he started from a very small shop in Openshaw and progressed to having a number of shops, the biggest of which was on Deansgate in Manchester. So that was his flagship store and they had over 200 pianos there. The shop was very successful in Manchester and when Albert Wagstaff passed away in 1927, his son Vincent took over the business. Vincent himself was a, a great musician and had played in dance bands all over the north of England. Unfortunately, in the Second World War, during the Manchester Blitz, the shop received a direct hit, the Deansgate shop, and it was absolutely flattened. And by the following year, Vincent had actually moved to Llandidno and set up another business here in Vaughan Street. He originally went to the bottom of Vaughan Street and then moved into the gallery building a few years later. Gathering together the objects for display in the exhibition was a challenge. We got lots of clues as to what we might put in there. So, for example, we had people who actually used Wagstaff's shop for buying records. So they brought us some record sleeves. People brought in instruments. We've got an old ukulele that was actually bought in Wagstaff's. We had a receipt from a piano that somebody brought here. So it was a challenge, but we did rise to that challenge and we've got some really fascinating things to see.